folks, this is Sheila E. from Tennessee, and I'm going to put together something with a bunch of leftovers. And we're since this is Tuesday, we're going to call this a Taco uh, Tuesday Casserole. How's that? So we're just going to take leftover things that we have in the freezer and some other things, and we're going to we're going to make a casserole. All right, we're going to do a Taco Tuesday Casserole. So let me get you over here where you can see what we're going to start out with. I'm going to wash my hands first. Always make sure you wash your hands really, really good. Uh, especially, you know, if you're handling meat. But what we're going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in this skillet right here. Just a little tiny bit. Because we've got some leftover crunch wrap meat. We're going to put that in there. That was out of the freezer. It's still good. We've got some leftover taco meat right here. Let's see if I can find the label on it right here. This is leftover taco meat, and all this is still good. So we're going to put that in there. And I have some, this is sloppy joe meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all this meat, but I'm going to put a little bit more um, taco seasoning in it. Just so it'll be really good, and it'll overpower that sloppy joe mix that went in it. Okay. This is how you do your leftovers. We never did throw nothing away when I was uh, growing up. Mama always took what she had and my, and my grandmother and whatever leftovers we had, she took something and made something else out of it. So what I've got, I've got my nine by 13 pan here and I've got, I've got this on and what I'm gonna do is put just a little bit of water in here just to get this started. Cause I'm gonna turn that up on high and get that started really good. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more taco seasoning in it. And then we'll get started with layering our taco casserole. Our taco Tuesday casserole. Since this is frozen, I'm just gonna do it like this right here and we're gonna get this started. All right, and I wanted to show you something else. <clears throat> I do have some leftover tomatoes and some leftover lettuce, but I've got some fresh lettuce and fresh tomatoes here. I've got a can of this uh, Coiso uh, white Mexican cheese. I've got some salsa. I've got some refried beans. And I've got some Spanish rice. Now, all this was on my pantry and in my freezer. So, it just goes to show you that you can take what you've got and make a big meal out of it. Uh, and it'll be eaten. I, pr I promise you, it'll be good. It'll be good. This is going to be delicious, you all. Um, also, I'm going to try to make another video, a short video, on a, <clears throat> a lemon poke a lemon poke cake. I've been craving lemon here lately and coconut, and I don't know why. But anyway, I've got a little pack of taco mix. And what I'm going to use, instead of using the taco, the soft taco shells or the hard taco shells, look what I've got. I've got some uh, three cheese Mexican style Tostitos, and I've got some plain Tostitos, and that's what we're going to use in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray that just a little tiny bit. Um, making sure, let me get a napkin. I always try to wipe my pans out. You never know what's glue in them. Looks like a piece of lint or something. So I just spray a little, right, especially around the corners. And that's going to do it for that. Let me show here where you can see. Okay, I'm going to take, let me put this over here on another eye so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put that on that back eye. And I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to scoot you. Just hold on, bar with me. I'm going to scoot you way back right here. Now you can see what I'm doing. So I've got a pan out here. I'm going to go ahead and start frying this in this back eye so you can see what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get some of this meat chopped up here. And the quicker we can get this done, the quicker we can get this in the oven. And I'm going to bake it on about, because everything's done, I'm going to bake it on about 350, probably for about 30 minutes. I'm going to start out, I've got this spread with some Baker's Joy, just really lightly. I'm going to start out with uh, just a few of these leftover Tostitos. These are just the plain Tostitos. We're just going to make a layer. 
And if you want to break them up, you can. This is going to have lots and lots of flavor in it. And that's what I like. You know me. I'm just as country as country can be, and I like flavor. But I'm still trying to think healthy, too, so I'm not going to put as much as I normally would. I've got two different kinds of... This is what I'm putting in now is the three cheese toastitos. These things are... They're a habit for me, and they're so good. So anyway, I'm just going to crunch those up in there and just mix them up a little bit around in there, and that's going to be it. So when the meat gets ready, we're going to go ahead and layer the meat, and I'm going to go ahead and open my... Um, I'm going to push this to the side. I'm going to go ahead and open my refried beans. And if you don't have any refried beans, you can just take plain old can uh, Lux pinto beans or mixed beans, and you can put them and fry them in a little uh, saucepan until they ain't nothing. That's the same thing as this right here. It's just the same thing, guys. I'm going to tell you, guys and girls. So, I'm always trying to find out. And I, and I, I try to think of something that's good and tasty. So let me get this out of here. I'm going to go ahead and put this. Let me wipe that bean juice off of me that just poured all over me. Put this on this little kettle right here. And I've been wiping this kettle out, guys. You know how bad I am about that. And I don't have my apron on. I just come back in and, uh, try and get what I needed from Walmart. And you know how that is. And then I had part of my stuff together and part of the stuff I didn't have together. So I had to go get some vitamins and stuff for my husband. And uh, got some Claritin for this allergy season. Now when you refry things, you don't put any water or anything. You just put those on. <coughs> Let me show you that can again because... Honey, this is this is just a made-up recipe that I'm doing right now. This is nobody's recipe. It's just called Taco Tuesday. This is this is the El Paso traditional refried beans, and this is a uh, uh, looks like one pound and fifteen ounce <coughs> can. So it's the big fat can of the refried beans. You want to have enough if you're making a casserole to go in. I'm going to turn this on medium and I'm going to watch it. I might put just a little water because I sure don't want burnt. Okay. So we're going to turn this around where you can see what I'm doing. Just stirring these refried beans up a little bit. Turn the stove on medium, about a medium high. And then I'm going to chop some more on this meat we've got in here. We've got taco meat, we've got crunch wrap meat, and we've got leftover sloppy joe meat with a little bit of water. I promise you guys it's going to be good. You don't, you can take leftovers and do so much with it. And I like tacos myself. I never have done this though. And I never have. I've took taco meat and made the soup, you know, like cabbage soup and stuff with meat in it. But I've never cooked it and made a taco casserole. But when we put that uh, taco season in there, I'm going to taste of it before we put it in there. Then I'll know how much to put. If we just need a little season, I'll just put a little season. All right. So that's coming right along. It won't take long, guys, for this to unthaw. And see, it's already cooked. It's been in the freezer. I'm going to put just a little bit more water in there. Get that going. <clears throat> we want to get that going as best we can. Alright. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Because all this will be a bubbling when we put it in the oven. I say 30, 35 minutes on 350 and it will be bubbling. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this can of uh, Spanish rice and have it ready, and then I'll have my cheese ready. I can open it right now. So, we're writing this down. I'll try to remember, guys, that I've got uh, one can of uh, 
15 ounce of Spanish rice, and then I've got one can of the white queso cheese. I'm not even sure if I'll put this in, maybe a little, and then put the rest of it in a container uh, and put it in the refrigerator. My beans are trying to pop and boil. We'll take them off and stir them there. Turn them down on real low. That's what I'm going to do, turn them on real low. <coughs> okay, let's see this made. So I've got my cheese open. And I'm going to open uh, my uh, salsa. If I can get it open. I might have to get my husband to open that. <coughs> Got my seasoning right here. I'm going to wipe this can off this Spanish rice. This is going to be a, a, a supreme taco uh, casserole because it's going to have lots of everything in it, lots of different flavors. I'm telling you, this old can opener's just about had it. Get it open with this, and guys, for that pizza fry. I know this version that one. That's pitiful, ain't it? I've got electric can opener, but I hate getting the thing out, and I don't like sending stuff like that on my cabinet, so on my countertop. Let's see if I can't get that out in a little kettle. See how that can done. This is going to be one of our layers on our taco Tuesday. Casserole. Just a dab of water in that. And we'll get that started. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this started and get it on before we put it together, and then I'll be right back. Okay, see what I've got there? Okay. Alright, guys, I'm back. I've got my uh, meat. All unthawed. There's a little piece right there that's still a little bit frozen. It'll be done in there in just a few minutes. Keeping that on a medium low heat there. And then we've got our refried beans that are heated up. And we've got some Spanish rice heating up. And then I'm just going to put this queso cheese on it and some salsa. So, and then I've got two different kinds of cheese and two different kinds of this right here. So I'm going to push you back where you can see just a little bit better. <clears throat> what I'm doing. Is that better? So what we're going to start, I'm going to put just a little bit of that taco seasoning because it tasted good to me, but I want to be sure that it tastes like tacos. So this is the OL Paso tacos. I just don't want to get a whole lot of uh, more salt in there. So we're just going to put about half that pack and then I'm going to taste of it again because it tasted really good to me. I think that crunch wrap's got taco seasoning in it in that meat. And then we had a pack of leftover taco meat that had taco seasoning. And then we just had those others that had a little bit of the sloppy joe meat. So I believe this is going to be just fine. Get a spoon here, taste of it. I believe it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be good. I don't think I'm going to put any more of that because it tastes good and I'm afraid I'll get too much in it and it'll be too salty and we won't be able to eat it. Now I've got my lettuce over here 
and I'm going to dice up some tomatoes, but that'll go on it whenever you get done. And I'm going to make some sriracha, some sriracha, it's a sauce that we make mayonnaise and sriracha sauce, and it goes over our cream traps. So I thought it would be good on this too. So I'm going to go ahead and start layering. got this layer of uh, three cheese and uh, Tostitos and then regular Tostitos. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start layering this meat. And this is just leftover freezer meat that we had. And we're going to have a Taco Tuesday casserole. What do y'all think about that? Just with leftover stuff. Of course the, the refried beans wasn't left over. Uh, we had all this other stuff on my pantry. I did have to buy a jar of salsa. I had some homemade salsa, but it was a hot salsa. Not everybody here likes hot salsa. So, and it was really hot. So I just went and got a jar, mild, a jar of mild. So I'm just gonna pack it down. We're gonna get a little bit more meat in there than that. We wanted a whole lot of meat in there. It ain't gonna be like when you go and get a taco and it's just a little tiny bit of meat. I mean, it's awful. Does that look good to you guys? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of refried beans. I'm going to get a bigger spoon so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm just going to spread those refried beans. Like I said, this is going to be a supreme taco bake, a casserole, because it's going to have lots and lots of flavors and lots and lots of things in it. This is not just a plain taco. Uh, casserole. This is going to be a supreme taco casserole. Since we've got Taco Tuesday, we're going to do casserole, uh, taco casserole. Now, what I want to do is put some of this Spanish rice that I've got heated. And you can see, I'm just doing little bits of layers. And then I'm going to put some cheese. That's our favorite stuff, isn't it? How's that looking to you? Is that looking good, guys? I just have to, I'll have to try to write down everything I'm putting in this because this is just something I just made up. So now that we've got the meat, we've got the taco shells crushed up, we've got the taco meat, and then we've got refried beans, and then we had some Spanish rice, and I'm just gonna put a dollop of these white cheese here and there. This is the queso white Mexican cheese. And I love this stuff. This is just good with just chips by itself. I do have my oven preheated to 350. This will have several layers. And this, like I said, this will be a supreme taco casserole. All right, so we'll set that back here. And I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of salsa in here. I don't want my uh, taco dry, so, and I don't want it too wet either, so here we go. We're just putting it here and there, as you can see, and this is a mild taco, uh, excuse me, salsa, Tostitos salsa, chunky style. Okay, now, I've got my taco blend cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these stove eyes off, because I really don't need it to be hot since I'm going to put this in the oven. We're going to try to get one more layer out of this. All right, we're going to go ahead and just put a big heavy layer of cheese, this taco blend cheese. And I just bet you this will be good, guys. If you like tacos, I just bet this will be good. And we're putting a bunch of cheese because we want a bunch of cheese on it. How's that look? Does that look pretty good, guys? A little bit right here. We don't want to cheat nobody. So now what we're going to do is I'm hoping this dish is going to be big enough. If not, I'll have to go get me another one. So we're going to put, try to put the rest of this. Oh, wait. we got to put some chips. This is a casserole, remember? We're going to put some chips. And this is the three cheese chips. Just crunching them up. 
you know this is going to be good, guys. And then we're going to put just a handful of the plain Tostitos. I don't have to wrap this down because I can just tell it's going to be good. Alright, now, let's get the rest of this meat on there. You just start your layers back over. We're going to try to get all this meat in there. Like I said, I'm going to try to do a lemon poke cake today. Tell you what, this ain't no slam pickings on a taco, is it? No, buddy, this is going to be full. My tongue slapped my brains out trying to get to it. I probably have to take me a roll aid or something. All them seasonings, but I don't care, it'll be worth it. So we're getting all that meat on there, and that's meat honey, that I had in the freezer. That will not go to waste now. I save everything. Every little, if I have a little bit, I put it in the freezer, put a date on it, and and name it. Whatever it is, that's what we do. All right. So we've got the meat. Now we're going to put another layer of refried beans. I want to say hi to one of my new subscribers her name is Susan and she has a channel and I just already been peeping at it and I just love what she does seems like a very sweet lady does a lot of volunteer uh, cooking and that's that's very good some of the stuff she does is really uh, looks wonderful and she feeds crowds of over a hundred people sometimes okay now it's got all of our refried beans And I probably won't get all the Spanish rice in there, but that's okay. I can put it in a container. I might be able to. We'll put it in a container. Put it in the freezer, won't we? It's what I do with everything. Let's see if we can get the rest of it in there. Wait, well, try not to waste it, but I bet you we'll have to put a pan under this to, so it don't run over on us. So a little bit of salsa here and there. that up and then uh, just a dab of cheese here and there the white cheese this is enough to feed an army The rest of that cheese, and um, I'll put this over here where you can see. It. Maybe them stovies is all right. Down here, put it up here too. Put some more cheese. Get some of that meat, those beans off there. Okay. Some more of this taco cheese. I 
like I said, everything's cooked on here, so. And then I want to show you how we make our um, stuff that goes on top or on the side, or whatever, how you want to do it. So this is going to be our Taco Tuesday uh, Taco Casserole. Let's see if there's any edges loose right there. We don't want that. All right. And I'm going to get one of my pans and put underneath it. Just so if it uh, was to bubble over, that it won't get all of them up. So there we got it, guys. And I'm not putting aluminum foil on it because I want it. I don't want it crispy. I want it soft. All right. I may put a few more um, of these little cheese tacos. Remember to get you some of these guys. These are habit for me. These are called Tostito Mexican Free Cheese. And they're just, like I said, they're habit for me. Alright. Take that back off. It didn't look too good, did it? Take that off too. It don't look too good. We get a whole one put on there. So here we go, we're going in the oven. Show it to you one more time. We're going in the oven on 350, preheated. And we're gonna watch it. I'm assuming it's gonna take about 30 minutes to bubble, so we're gonna time it for 30 minutes. And then I'll be back to show you uh, what it looks like, okay? All right, I'll see you in just a few. Okay guys, while well, that's in the oven and it's looking good, I've got my lettuce over here uh, chopped up. I've got some of that white cheese left in there, and I'm going to dice up a tomato. Uh, I, I wanted to show you how we do this, and I don't measure, so you'll just have to do it. You know, I'm just trying to, it's just good. You can't really overdo anything on it. So I've got JFG regular mayonnaise, so that's probably a tablespoon. I'm going to do about three tablespoons. Because we like this sauce. Okay, that's about three ta heaping tablespoons or three and a half. And JFG regular, you can use Dukes. You can use um, any type you want to. Uh, Hellman's, whatever you want to use. You can even use the Hellman's light. And this is the Sriracha hot chili sauce. And what I do is just put it, we just squirt it a time or two. And that makes our sauce that we eat on our uh, crunch wraps. So, and it is absolutely, you wouldn't believe what a difference that makes and how good that is. So that's it, just simple and easy. About three tablespoons of, of mayonnaise of your choice. And then some sriracha, sriracha cheese hot sauce. So that's all you do on that. So I'm gonna go back and dice my tomato up. And I'm gonna check on it, and it looked like it was looked like it was bubbling to me, so that's a good sign, huh? Okay, be right back. All right, folks, it's been 25 minutes, and it's bubbling, so I'm gonna take it out. go I'm gonna set it over here and let it cool just for a few minutes I'm gonna put it right here where you can see with all the toppings that goes on it and then I'm gonna cut it but I have to let it cool for a few minutes uh, before we cut it so we'll set it right here on these mats that my sweet neighbor got me all right and we'll be right back all right guys I went ahead and tried to cut it but it looks like it's so warm and everybody's wanting to eat 
we're going to just go ahead and try to spoon it out. I've got it cut into sections, but I'm going to go ahead and I tasted every bite of it. It was so, so good. Now look at there, look at there. Oh my goodness. Now you know that ain't going to be enough, so we're going to have to put two little sections in there. This will probably be for my husband. And I've got some rolls in the microwave. And I about know what he wants on his. So we're going to put some lettuce, just a little bit, and a little bit of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. And then we're going to put um, some white cheese. Don't that look good? And a dab of sour cream. This has got everything that a, a Supreme Taco would have. All right. How does that look, guys? Does that look wonderful? Mm -mm -mm. I'll take some pictures, okay? So, this is Sheila E. from Tennessee. We're about to eat supper. And may God bless you and keep you safe. Always smile because smiles are contagious. Always give God glory, praise, and thanks for he is worthy, okay? I'll show you again, and I'll take some pictures. So, we'll be back until we see each other.